I'm not sure, Jeff. Six. Oh, right. <laughs> it looks like you're going to catch me. One, two, three. Where'd this come from? I think it came from in there. Oh. oh, Emily is throwing the paper. And why is she dressed like that? What is she doing? And why is she making those funny faces? Did you ever see a lassie, a lassie, a lassie? Did you ever see a lassie go this way and that? Go this way and that way and this way and that? Paper Barney. It was an accident. Oh, that's okay, Emily. Uh, you are Emily, right? You look sort of different. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dressed like Mother Goose. See? Oh, I see. In school, we've been reading Mother Goose rhymes, like this one. Hey diddle diddle, the cat in the fiddle. The cow jumped over the moon. The little dog laughed to see such sport. And the dish ran away with the spoon. That's a good one. Now, I'm supposed to write a new rhyme of my own. Oh, that sounds like fun. I thought if I looked like Mother Goose, it might help give me an idea. But I'm still having a hard time. Ooh. Is this one of your rhymes? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, let's take a look. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, um, roses are red, violets are blue, scribbly line, scribbly line, all scratched out, shoe. See, I think I need some help. Well, I know someone who'd be happy to help. <laughs> and she's already here. She is? <laughs> Where? Right here. <laughs> I just love doing that. It tickles. Oh, hi, Mother Goose. Well, hello, Barney. Oh, it's good to see you again. Good to see you. You're Mother Goose? Well, that's right. And you're Keisha. And Robert. And Jill. And Jeff. And... Well, my goodness, I must be looking in a mirror. <laughs> I'm Emily. I know you are, dear. How did she know our names, Barney? Oh, Mother Goose knows the name of every boy and girl who's heard her rhymes. That's right. And I knew your mommy and daddy when they were little, and your grandmother and grandfather when they were little. Wow. <laughs> wow. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to speak in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. <laughs> now, what is a rhyme, you ask? What is a rhyme, you say? Rhyming words will sound the same, like fiddle and diddle, name and game, like farmer in the dell, pussy in the well, I like to speak in rhyme. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to speak in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. Rhymes are fun, and some are for sleepy time. And others talk about animals, like the sheep and little Bo Peep. Like sugar and spice and three blind mice, I 
like to speak in rhyme. Oh, I'm Mother Goose, and I'm here to say that I love to speak in rhyme. I've been around for many, many years for a very, very, very long time. She's been around for many, many years. For a very, very, very long time. Mother Goose, Emily's been trying to write a rhyme, and I thought you might be able to help. Ah, so, you'd like to be a little Mother Goose, hmm? <laughs> well, I'll be happy to take you under my wing. <laughs> oh, boy! I mean, thank you. Well, first let me see how you were trying to write. Okay. Uh -huh. Oh, dear. Mm -hmm. Here sits the Lord Mayor, here sit his two men. Here sits the rooster, here sits the hen. Here sit the little chickens, here they run in. Chin chopper, chin chopper, chin chopper, chin. <laughs> you see, there's your problem, you weren't smiling. To write a mother goose rhyme, you have to be smiling, and laughing is even better. Oh, writing rhymes sounds like fun. I'd like to write one, too. Ooh. So would I. Yeah. That sounds like Well, then the first thing for us to do is to get up, get out, and have a little fun. <laughs> and I have a whole book full of fun things we can do. Well, then let's get started. I can't wait. Oh. Now, if you need an idea for a rhyme, just open your eyes, look around, and write about what you see. <laughs> okay, hey, hey. you. Could you make a rhyme about these flowers? <laughs> Daffy Down Dilly has come to town in a yellow petticoat and a green gown, and her white blossoms are peeping around. <laughs> Could you even write a rhyme about our playset? Well, of course. Especially if I pretend that it's a great, big, beautiful bridge. <laughs> London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. Fills it up with iron bars, iron bars, iron bars. Fills it up with iron bars, my fair Iron bars will bend and break, bend and break, bend and break. Iron bars will bend and break, my fair lady. <laughs> Build it up with silver and gold, silver and gold, silver and gold. Build it up with silver and gold, my fair lady. Gold and silver, I have none, I have none, I have none. Gold and silver, I have none, my fair lady. London Bridge is falling down, falling down, falling down. London Bridge is falling down, my fair lady. My fair lady. <laughs> Have you really been to London, Mother Goose? Oh, goodness, yes, many times. London is a wonderful city in a country called England. When I wrote these rhymes a long, long time ago, they didn't have cars or buses or trains. They had beautiful carriages pulled by horses. Well, you mean like the horses over by that tree? I don't see any horses. Well, try looking on the other side of the tree. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I think they're going to like this. <laughs> ah, just like in jolly old London. Mother Goose, your carriage is ready. <laughs> Up at the Piccadilly O, the coachman takes his stand. And when he meets a pretty girl, he takes her by the hand. Whip away forever, oh 
Forever, oh, drive away so clever. Oh, all the way to Bristol. Oh, he drives her four in hand. Mother Goose, do you think we can get ideas for rhymes in here? Oh, I'm sure of it. In fact, you could make it a game. <laughs> Good idea. Let's all look around and try to find things that remind us of Mother Goose rhymes. All right. <laughs> look, here's a Humpty Dumpty puzzle. Humpty Dumpty sat on the wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh, dear. Well, maybe you can put him together again, Emily. I'll try. Humpty Dumpty sat on a wall. Humpty Dumpty had a great fall. All the king's horses and all the king's men couldn't put Humpty together again. Oh. But I can. <laughs> well, he looks much better now. Look what we found, Barney. Does this remind you of any Mother Goose rhymes? Mm, well, how about one called The Clock? <laughs> There's a neat little clock. In the schoolroom it stands, and it points to the time with its two little hands. And may we, like the clock, keep a face clean and bright, with hands ever ready to do what is right. I like that. Me too. <laughs> oh, 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 my! <laughs> it's wake-up time! <laughs> to market, to market, to buy a fat pig, Home again, home again, jiggity jig. To market, to market, to buy a fat hog. Home again, home again, jiggity jog. To market, to market, to buy a plum bun. Home again, home again, market is done. Oink, 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 oink. Aha! Now here's something worth writing rhymes about. The numbers? What's so special about numbers? <laughs> What's so special about numbers? <laughs> well, I use them in my rhymes all the time, and you can too. Numbers are good for counting. Yes. And they're good for telling time. Yes. But most of all... Yes. They're lots of fun to say. <laughs> yeah, that's right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, begin again. <laughs> Let's sing it together. Okay. All right. Yeah. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up sticks. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, begin again. Now let's try it really fast. All right. One, two, buckle my shoe. Three, four, shut the door. Five, six, pick up six. Seven, eight, lay them straight. Nine, ten, that's the end. That's the end. Oh, that's the end. Oh, that's right. Look, Mother Goose, I found a toy sheep. Is that something you can write a rhyme about? Oh, goodness, yes. I've written lots of rhymes about sheep and lambs. You have? Mm hmm Just listen. Baba Black Sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three bags full. One for my master, one for my dame. One for the little boy who lives down the lane. 
Papa, black sheep, have you any wool? Yes, sir, yes, sir, three oh. bags full. Oh, oh, oh my. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. The sheep's in the meadow, the cow's in the corn. Where's the boy who looks after the sheep? He's under the haystack, fast asleep. Little Bo Peep has lost her sheep and doesn't know where to find them. Leave them alone and they'll come home, wagging their tails behind them. <laughs> about sheep. Oh, goodness, yes. I've written rhymes about all sorts of animals. I love them all. Oh, one of my very favorite Mother Goose rhymes has lots of animals in it. Could you tell us more? Tell us more. Could you tell us Do tell us. Well, it's not just a rhyme. It's also sort of a long story. So I'll need lots of help. Oh, 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 Are you ready back there, everyone? As ready as we'll ever be. Then let's do it. Okay. <laughs> okay. I am Jack, and this is the house that Jack built. This is the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. This is the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. <laughs> this is the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. <laughs> This is the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. <laughs> this is the priest all shaven and shorn that married the man all tattered and torn that kissed the maiden all forlorn who milked the cow with the crumpled horn that tossed the dog that worried the cat that chased the rat that ate the malt that lay in the house that Jack built. <laughs> I am Jack, and this is the house that Jack built. This is the house that Jack built. <laughs> Yay! Good job, everyone. That was great. <laughs> you might even say it was super d duper. <laughs> Remember when Mother Goose said you should be smiling to write a Mother Goose rhyme? Yeah. Well, you're all smiling and laughing now, so this should be the perfect time to start writing your rhymes. Right, Mother Goose? Right. <laughs> I'll get pencil and paper for everyone. <laughs> well, Emily, you ready to give it another try? I don't know. Oh, well, I think if you're going to be a little Mother Goose, you're going to need this. 
Your very own quill pen? It's the one I've written all my rhymes with. Oh, I can always make another one. There are lots of feathers around my house. <laughs> can I try it out right now? Certainly, dear. It's, uh, time to rhyme. <laughs> <laughs> Is everyone ready to read their rhymes? <laughs> Good. Jill, why don't you start us off? Okay. <laughs> Hi-ho, me oh my, I saw a bluebird One in the sky. Two steps, three steps, four, go upstairs to my front door. Four steps, three steps, I gave steps. ice cream to a whale. He said yum and wagged his tail. Elephant, big and gray, tell me how you feel today. I feel good from head to toes, except for a tickle in my nose. Huh? Achoo! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> now it's your turn, Emily. <laughs> Smiles are like sunshine, warm and bright. Smiles make everything feel all right. Here with my friends is where I like to be. Smiling at you, because you're smiling at me. Oh, that was so nice. Good. Those rhymes were still stupendous. <laughs> they certainly were. In fact, they were so good, I'm going to go straight back home and write them down in my very own book of rhymes. Oh, really? Oh, goodness. Well, that's a great idea. <laughs> Well, I must say, this has been a simply glorious day. Oh, we had fun, too, Mother Goose. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Can we see you again sometime? Well, of course, dear. In fact, you can visit with me any time you want, just by looking right here. After all, I'm in the book. Bye! 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 It was really fun meeting Mother Goose. Oh, it was. Oh, it was. Today was really special. Thanks, Barney. Oh, Thanks you're so welcome. Much. But I'm not surprised. After all, every day can be special when you share it with people you love. <laughs> I love you. You love me. We're a happy family with a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. Won't you say you love me too? I love you, you love me. We're best friends like friends should be. With a great big hug and a kiss from me to you. <laughs> hey, I've got an idea. Let's go share our new rhymes with some of the other kids. Oh, oh, that's, that's a terrific idea. Bye, Marty. Thanks for the rhyme. I forgot. I have one more rhyme, Barney. Want to hear it? Roses are red, violets are blue, my best friend is purple, my best friend is you. Bye, Barney. See you later. To all my friends, I'm glad you came to play. Our fun and learning never end. Here's what we did today. We had lots of fun learning about rhymes with Mother Goose. She told us about rhyming words that sound the same, like fiddle and diddle, name and game. Rhymes can be about almost anything. Just use your eyes and look around for ideas. Some rhymes have numbers in them, and lots of rhymes are about animals. But 
Mostly, Mother Goose rhymes are all about having fun. Oh, I just love rhymes. And remember, I love you. <laughs> See you soon, Barney. Coming up later, shout a big yay because our Play With Me Sesame friends will be here to play. But first, it's time for some super-dee-duper fun and songs with Barney again. Coming up next, right here on Sprout. <laughs> 